Taiwan is in the grip of Satan. Stick around and find out why. Live, trance, and prosper. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Dick Phillips, and this week is a rant. Kind of, sort of, yeah, it's a rant. Long ago, when dinosaurs walked the earth, and I first left my Kansas home to come to Taiwan, well, I wanted to get information before I came here. See, my goal was to come to Taiwan, learn a little bit about the culture and the language and the people eh, for about a year or two and then go back to the U.S. for my Ph.D. Well, one or two years has become 26 years. And uh, I did my Ph.D. here. But uh, before I came to Taiwan, I wanted to find out more about the country and its people, and I read voraciously. And I had already had friends from Taiwan in graduate school, so I had that advantage. But uh, while I was visiting home in my hometown before coming here, coincidentally, one of the local churches had a talk scheduled by someone who had lived in Taiwan for a few years. Uh, and the topic of his talk, Taiwan is in the grip of Satan, which really surprised me. I didn't know that about Taiwan, and so I was quite curious. And he had proof. He had visual proof. His visual proof was folks at temple burning money to the idols, um, and that uh, he was a well, he was a missionary who worked in Taiwan uh, while teaching at a university. And that was another reason he could prove that Taiwanese were uh, essentially worshipping Satan and were in the grip of the devil and that they were very materialistic. Because at the university he worked at, uh, he taught at, he felt that all of the students and the faculty, that all they cared about was money. And so these people would show up, uh, parents would drive their kids to the school in BMWs and Mercedes Benz, and these kids were very superficial and not very good students, and all they cared about was this or that, and money, 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 and they didn't care about spiritual life or things like that. Well, here's the thing, though. I, I've lived in Taiwan for a few years, more than a few, uh, two and a half decades, and uh, I, I learned, so I teach at a university too, and yeah, some of my students are materialistic people, but not all of them, and the ones that you might think are, they're not really as materialistic as he might have portrayed it. See, I learned something. I teach at a really good university. It's uh, number two or three ranked uh, program in in the country, depending upon which ranking you have. And at least for a couple of years, my department has been number one uh, for our subject matter. So if, uh, my students are really good students. I know for a fact that anyone who sits in my classroom is highly intelligent. I didn't say has common sense, I just said really intelligent, uh, or at least they can take tests awesome. Uh, but the thing about it, I, I learned that this guy, and I'm not going to give his name, uh, but the university he taught, see I'm up here in like number one and number two, I went to number one and I teach at number two, and uh, his, his university is down here. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to move it lower. But you can't see where my hand is, but trust me, it's way at the bottom. It literally was, at the time, uh, it was the bottom-ranked university in the country. The folks who were going to his program were folks typically were wealthy. Uh, and couldn't get into the better universities. So he's not actually dealing with the, the, the cream of the crop. And he's applying a very narrow, from a very narrow group, he's applying uh, inductive reasoning to everyone, assuming that his experience was typical. Now here's an interesting tidbit. 
I, my daughter, I met my wife here, my daughter was born here, my daughter was raised here, my daughter went to Chinese schools uh, affiliated with the university and elsewhere. Um, but uh, throughout my daughter's education, her education was in Chinese. Now this guy, when he was teaching here in Taiwan, he had children and they didn't go to the local schools. Instead, they went to Taipei American School. The university he worked for actually provided him a home, not, not an apartment, a home, a house, and a driver, because he couldn't drive in, in Taiwan. I guess he couldn't pass the license test, but um, he had a driver, a really nice home in a wealthy suburb, and his children all were driven, not bust, driven to Taipei American School for schooling. I mean, okay, sometimes people ask me, why didn't I send my daughter to the Taipei American School? Well, Taipei American School in Taiwan is not like American schools in many other countries, which are set up by the government to serve local, uh, uh, Americans who live in the area and uh, the tuition is uh, comparable to other high schools in America. No, the Taipei American School is a private school. Okay, it's a private school for CEOs and the like. Okay, it's very wealthy people go there. It's an expensive school. And so this guy's mouthing on about how Taiwanese are materialistic and only after money and only after living an elite lifestyle. Well, he's living an elite lifestyle. He doesn't know what the typical Taiwanese person is like. And so when he uses his analysis that Taiwanese are worshipping Mammon, the god of wealth, and are only interested in money and not spirituality, well, he's got a very twisted view. He's living that lifestyle and he's judging others. Now, he's living, he's judging others from that same viewpoint many evangelical Christians use, and that is, if you don't worship my God, then you're worshiping Satan. Because all other gods are Satan. Well, that's very xenophobic uh, and very unfair view of other people's lives and religious values. He was wrong. Taiwan is not in the grip of Satan. In order to be in the grip of Satan, you have to actually acknowledge Satan. You know, the Satanists out there, they, people who claim to actually worship Satan are ridiculous because they reject Christianity. But in order to worship their deity, they must accept Christianity. And so they're in a kind of a twisted setup, and it's thus the issue. Uh, I would never say that Taiwanese are in the grip of Satan, only about 3%. used to be 5%, but it's actually dropped. 3% of Taiwanese are Christian, and those who are not Christian don't worship Satan. They either don't have a religion, and that's their choice, or they follow the same religion as they their families have for a long time. They could be Confucianists, which is more of a philosophy than a religion. Probably they would self-describe themselves as Buddhist or Taoist. Many temples are both. And that's not really Satan. And when he takes, this guy takes video of folks worshipping at a temple, doing bye-bye, and then claiming that was satanic, He's really overstepping the boundaries of good taste and actual reli comparative religion studies. He's a xenophobic dick who's trying to play the better than thou card while living a better than thou lifestyle. So, as my title says, Taiwan's not really in the grip of Satan. It's just one of many countries. Some people are spiritual, some are not. So there. I hope this has been valuable or entertaining to you. Please come back. Click subscribe 
so that you can get notices when we have new videos up. And of course on Tuesdays, that's when I rant. And that's also when I have church news and things like that. Wednesdays, I answer pastoral questions. Just ask me a question and maybe I'll make a video answering your question. Thursday's trance time, I guide you through a ecstatic or divine trance experience. Once a month we have a, ser a big sermon or a webinar, web-based seminar associated with one of my other sites, primarily BrianDavidPhillips.net, but sometimes others. Uh, please do let us know what you enjoy about these experiences and check our website and of course subscribe. But for now, this is Dr. Brian David Phillips saying, live trance and prosper. Bye-bye.